Hello everyone! Today we are going to be learning about PDB in Python. Now basically um, we'll be learning about debugging but a warning before you actually start watching this properly um, is if you have any idea that um, has uh, any uh, debugging anyway like direct debugging such as PyCharm where you can just click the debug icon and start debugging your code then i suggest not watching this video it will just be a waste of your time but if you have any idealies that don't have debugging such as jupiter then you can watch this video and you can successfully debug your code now pdb is a module and if you're not familiar with what modules are please um watch my video on modules i'll put the link above um uh, uh, i'll put the link above so you can just access it okay so let's start learning about pdb uh pdb uh pdb in python i'll be doing this in jupyter notebook because jupyter notebook doesn't have any access to debugging so let's get on so here is my notebook um and uh, basically, you can see I put in Python debugger, and that is what PDB stands for. Um, so you can debug in Python. So basically, um, as you may know, debugging in Jupyter Notebook is not possible because I just explained that before. And this is why we have PDB. It's super helpful if you want to find out which pieces of code can produce errors and which of them don't. So this is how you do debugging. So let's start learning how to use this module. So, so first, what we want to do is we want to create an error deliberately so we can actually revise what our errors do and how do we identify them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable. I'm going to call it um, one, three. Uh, I'm going to call my variable x. I'm going to write in one, three, and four and also next i am going to put in a variable y this is going to be an integer two because x is a list and y is an integer and then z is equal to three another integer i'm also going to say result one is equal to y plus z i want to print the result and also i want to say result 2 is equal to y plus x now as you can see you may be um you may be start thinking about where this error is going to lead to it's basically gonna make an error because you can't add a integer to a list that is impossible unless you use the append method so also, I want to print result 2, and this is where my error is going to occur. So, if I just type that incorrectly, result 2. Result. Sorry about that typo. Um, and if we run this, we, uh, we get this uh, error. So, here I need to put in 1. Now, uh, we get a type error, okay? So, as you can see here, R5 executed. This is because this piece of code is correct. So the one I'm highlighting, this is correct because this code is executable. It doesn't have any errors in it. But then when our Python interpreter comes to here, it just produces an error. And it's saying that this is a type error. And our type error is saying unsupported operand types for int and list. Now, what does this mean? it's saying you can't add an integer and a list together because that is not possible and it also tells me the line and all of that okay so as you can see here we got an error so what we want to do is we can set a trace for any errors using the pdb module and this is basically going to look for any errors this is basically going to set a trace for any errors. So if there are any errors, going to run it. And if there aren't, then, well, let's, uh, you, uh, I don't really know what happens, but it, what I'm thinking is basically it might not run. Okay. So this is why we set a trace so we can trace for any errors. Um, and then we can see. Okay. So this will pause our code, but a note, 
what um we need to actually set the trace in the correct position because some people uh some uh be, uh some people uh tend to actually put it set the trace after the error and it and uh um the tray uh our pdb module actually ends up not running because the error is in its way so what we need to do is first i'm going to copy this i'm going to copy all of this i'm going to paste it here so it's in a new cell and first before we actually set the trace we want to import the module so we can just say import whoops import pdb okay so what we want to do is we want to import our pdb module and where are we going to set the trace so i'm going to do this after this correct piece of code i'm going to do it before the error so i can actually see what the error is before it comes in the way of my uh, uh, pdb be before it comes in the way of me saying trying to set the trace okay so what i'm going to do is i am going to say pdb dot set trace so as easy as that, all you need to do is put a one-liner. And also I'm going to put in a comment saying setting a trace for errors. Okay. Um, and if we run this, we have five and it's saying that um, basically it's running this piece of code. Then it goes on to setting the trace. So here I can type in any piece of code that I want. So I could just copy this and it will give me the error. But it won't shout back and stop me. All it's going to do is it's just going to tell me the error and tell me to type in anything else. So I could also say Y plus Z and it will give me the correct answer. It won't shout at me saying you can't put in a correct answer or something. I could also say Z minus Y. So this is a great way to check outputs without having to run over and over again. Um, and also it's a great fit way for actually debugging. So I could also I could also say put in something completely random. So something like print. Actually, let's take away the bracket there. So if we do that, it says syntax error X unexpected and EOL while pass EOF while passing so basically that's syntax error and that's wrong okay so you can try to put in something completely random some like this y dot append well obviously this is going to cause an error if you type that in it's going to say attribute error okay so oh use if you don't if you want to stop debugging you can press q it has to be lowercase because if you put in capital Q, it'll give me a name error. So I want to put in lowercase and it'll quit and give me, it'll run this piece of code and I'll get the error. So now let's see what will happen if we put the, uh, if we set the trace after the error. So we just get our error and it's not setting the trace. So this is why we need to um actually put it before the error otherwise it won't set the trace for us so that is actually really really easy uh if you're stuck you can look at a python documentation so the original one so i can say pdb module in python so type this in your search engine go to the documentation you like so i'm putting 3.8.3 .3 because um that is my that is uh my version of python i'm gonna click that you can read all of this if you still don't understand P uh, pdb um and what i'm going to do is i am going you can look through all of these methods but the interesting thing here is it has debugger commands so you can actually look at all the commands that you can use in uh whilst using pdb so as you can see there's a h uh you can put in uh you can put in h as a command so if we run this and put in h we get all of these so we get all the commands um that we like so basically those are all the basics you need to learn so uh on pdb so you can also check out the documentation i sh sh uh 
I just uh, I've just shown you. Um, otherwise, you can go to the uh, description uh, of this video and click the link. Um, click the link. This is where you can download the practice notebook where you can just read through it and understand a bit more. The Python documentation link will also be in there um, and it will be pretty helpful. So I guess that's the basics of um, I guess that's the basics of the PDB module. Um, I hope you like this video. Uh, if you did, please click the like button and also uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any comments uh, or suggestions, please comment them in sec uh, comment section below. If you have any doubts, you can do that as well. Or you can go to my um, or otherwise you can go to my channel, go to the discussion section uh, and comment there as well. So. I guess that's the end of this video. Bye.